<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, 67? Let's go today. We're here doing a ranked one versus one. I have a huge, uh, I guess, thing to say. I don't really, I don't really know how to say. I got a big thing to say. Um, basically, I made a Patreon for those people that uh, said that they, they want to support me. There's a bunch of uh, benefits to. I don't know what it's called for subbing for for pledging i don't know what what words they use for the website but um there's a ton of benefits for it so it will be the first link in the description below and it will be the um pinned comments so you guys can check that out this guy ban or this guy passed his band so we're gonna see what he actually is playing but yeah so i don't know i was gonna say something about the patreon i'm a little skeptical about it but you know some people have private messaged me on uh on twitch and on twitter and have said that they would like to um support me monthly but you know a sub is five dollars on twitch and they don't want to keep donating over months and months and months because you know whatever reason that they have but um and then i have messages on twitch or on twitter sorry that say that they want to support me from YouTube viewers that don't know how. So now you know how. You just click that link and you pledge for a certain amount, whatever amount you want. After you read the benefits you get for those amounts. And then uh, we figure out what you're doing. What you're getting. We're fighting a set, huh? Okay, so I feel bad. Andy of Smite. Okay. Andy of Smite. I don't know how this is gonna go. And if I'm being honest, I kind of feel like it's not gonna be that good. But, but that being said, Andy of Smite, maybe because I'm good with Set, I'll be able to outplay Set. You know, maybe I'm inside the head. It's like being inside the head of a villain. You know what they're gonna do. Like in Batman, they know where they're gonna attack. That's basically me, but instead of Batman, it's Set, which is arguably cooler. It's not cooler. What do you guys think of Edward? What's his face? Or hold on, let me look it up. <laughs> Edward something new Batman. What's his name? Oh, this guy. Whoever this guy is, but he's gonna be the new Batman. Apparently, this guy that played Twilight, he's gonna be the next Batman. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know how he's gonna, how he's gonna be. I just hope that he does well, and I hope that, I hope that he bulks up too for the, for the role. He gets some muscle for it because I feel like he fits the billionaire type very well. Like he's got that look on him that's a very billionaire look, but. He doesn't fit the badass fighting crime jacked in a black suit look, you know? It's more just like he's only the billionaire type. So yeah, I don't know. I think he's got to put on some, some muscles. A little bit of muscles. Oh, let's beat this set's ass, dude. Okay. Well... That didn't go as planned. So let's just play passive from now on. And maybe it'll be okay. Or maybe it won't, you know, who fucking knows. All I know is that he has no mana. And he's level 5. Come here, please. Thank you. Uh Let's just do these. I have to stay under my tower at all times. Oh, 
Oh, that scared me. Okay. He's backing. I guess he's getting his finished boots here. That's probably what he's doing. That's a good play. Not fighting without the correct boots. But I'm not going to fight him anyways. I am scared of him, don't get me wrong, but I feel like if he's going to play passive like this, then we actually have a chance of winning. He's not going to take advantage of his snowballs. If that's the case, we definitely have a chance of winning. There's a lot of damage though. This isn't coming up quite yet. I'm gonna go get my own boots. Okay, uh, so my alt gives me only 10% mitigation. But I do 10% more damage to whoever I hit with it. Maybe if I'm under my tower it's enough. Oh shit. Hmm. Your middle tower is under attack. Well, that did not go good. I gotta be honest. In fact, one might even say that went terribly. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna run away. Oh, god damn. When he ults, he just gets so fast. So fast. Hmm. I'm a thousand gold behind. It actually looks like it was a close fight, but it really wasn't. It's just because he took three tower shots, I think. How do I make this up? I make up this deficit that I'm in. About to be two level deficit. I have to just farm really hard. The problem is that he can catch me so easily and with his slow especially that uh, because he can catch me so easily it's really really difficult to to be able to like get the leeway enough to farm without dying. Hmm. I mean, I do decent damage, I just... Can't do enough of the decent damage. He's pretty much out of mana. Okay. He ran all the way away. We'll go back. I do want Breastplate, so I'm going to wait for Breastplate. It's about 100 more gold. He's getting Glad Shield, or maybe he's not getting Glad Shield. Maybe he's getting Void Shield. That might be a Void Shield. Let's win this thing. They did just get some cooldown, though. I think the way to win this match is 
simple in the fact that I need to get thorns and anti-heal and just have him kill himself on my face. That's pretty much the play. He is going void shield for sure. Okay. Well, I feel good about that trade. Ow. So much damage. Hmm. Oh, what a good, what a good bracer. But it's okay because, say it with me now, class, we got the red buff. Alright, I'm going to go Toxic Blade now. So I want to get that anti-heal online, and I do want to be an auto-attack based god, because I think that's the only way to play against Set, at least. I mean, so far is so great, right? Like, we've caught back up in level, somehow. We're a thousand gold down. Okay, we definitely did not catch back up in level, but we're doing all right. He's got all, so I shouldn't be here. Ouch. His void shield in the back. I can poke him pretty well. I can poke him pretty well. Right, let's go get our thorns. What is he gonna get? Oh shit, he could get horrific. Then I'm fucked. But I could just go wing blade. Or I could just use my two. He's going. Pressure, I would assume. Oh, he wasn't chasing me. Okay. Then. All right, so I'm just gonna use my three for sustain, pretty much. And other than that, I'm just gonna trade with him whenever I can. Which is not often because he actually does a lot of damage. I think I will just go get my Toxic Blade now. I don't want to give him red though. I have thorns, right? Like, how does, how is he going to beat me in a fight? Oh, that's how. I'm dead, I got a back, fuck. This is rough, dude. Ravana is not an easy god to play, holy shit. I'm down in levels again. What can I do to get back up in levels? He's doing his blue right now. Mm. 
Trace. Um, maybe with Toxic Blade I can fight him, but I have to make sure Toxic Blade is on him the entire time, or I will not be able to. Also need some sort of pen. Can't fight him there. I'm gonna have to get beat stick. It'll be 80% anti heal, which is really good. Because he has a uh, bracer as well, which is a big misplay on his part. Okay. That was good. That was good. Hmm. My buff just isn't quite up yet. If I had 80% anti-heal there, he would have been dead. He would have been dead. I do now. I think I need to go hide now. Well, what is most of his damage coming from? Most of these autos, yeah. So I think I'm going to go hide. And then I'll go Titan's Bane maybe afterwards. So we're just all out brawling right now because he wants that red buff. Alright, nice. Oof, well played, well played. Very close. So instead of going for his tower, I'm going to try to make up the gold and XP difference I have by getting all the objectives on the map. Alright, and that should be good enough. Keep me in the game for quite a bit while. Just gonna stay in clear. He can't kill me. Okay. Put him back. With my 2200 gold and grab a hide. Um, get a mana pot while I'm waiting for my mana to regen. You want to get my blue buff? I'm actually ahead in level now. Still behind in gold a little bit, but it'll be all right. I don't know if he can fight me anymore. At least not yet. I'm pretty tanky and he has no pen. Maybe could kill me. I'm gonna keep acting like he can't. Okay, fuck it all back. Start my Titan's Bane. I don't know if I'm actually guaranteed gonna go Titan's Bane. Because he's not that tanky. and might be a Crusher. Because it gives me attack speed. But we'll see. Maybe.
I mean, he absolutely cannot find me right now, right? Yeah, I won that fight really hard. Nice. It's okay. It's an alt for an alt. I'm actually catching up to him. Oh, I hate that. my tower here. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'll lose my tower here. Actually, no, I won't. He's too low. Now, I will back. Oh my god, this is a tough-ass game, dude. I'm gonna get Crusher. I think I need attack speed boots. I don't really need power. You know, power is not what I'm going for. I'm going just for, like, attack speed and trading with thorns. Oh shit, that XE frags. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Almost had him. Almost had him. That XE actually hurt me a lot, though. Like, I couldn't auto trade him with XE since he has XE. Um, I'm gonna have to think of a new strat. Maybe I'll sell my boot. No. Well, I will sell my boots, but I don't know what to get. I was thinking Mid-Guardian, but maybe a Frostbound is better. Okay. Huh. Why did he fight me there? Okay, well, I don't know why he fought me there, but I'll accept it. He's dead for 30 seconds. I have a full minion wave. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Alright, so we got the Phoenix down. I probably... I could do some damage to the Titan, but I couldn't end. I might die for it, which in turn might give away my phoenix, so I'm just going to not. Instead, I'm going to get my red buff. I'm going to invest into the future of this game and get my, my 1500 speed pot. 
because I don't know if there's, I don't know how long this game is going to go, but if it does go much longer, then I want to make sure that I'm ready for it. Gotta clear this. Okay. Oh shit, he's halting. Oh, damn. Damn it. This game is just so tough to end. How do I end? Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Okay, well. He just had a wave spawn. It takes 26 seconds for a minion wave to go from a spawn to a phoenix. So he cannot get my phoenix, but he will absolutely get my tower. Um, I can sell this now because I already have the other the other potion and I can go for my frostbound if I could help a bit. He doesn't have kins, so. Uh, he's probably going to do bull demon. He used his thorns though. And that's the biggest, the biggest part of what just happened is the fact that he used his thorns, which means that next fight, I want to fight him under his tower so that he has to fight me and I need to be able to pop thorns. And use my ult. So, and I would love a shield. So I'm going to try to get my shield up, stacked a bit. Got to make sure that I can re-get that Phoenix. I got to be aggressive here. Alright, we re-got the Phoenix and now we force him to fight us. Damn, I could have ended the game. I easily could have ended the game, but I wanted to like not be a total scumbag loser. Um, so I didn't go for it there, but I think I'm probably just gonna win the game now. Like I gave him the chance because I did, you know, just face death. Oh, he went stone cutting. That's a lot better of an item than frostbound hammer. Oh, uh, but I, you know, I have the 500 pot right now. Fuck it. Can you get Phoenix off this? I don't think it matters, right? Because, like, no matter what, he's going to try to fight me, and I just got to, like, root him and use my two and then ult the Titan to win. And I have Bang, or I have Bracer too, so. There's no sense in, like, running around and being sneaky because it's hard for him to clear the wave. So just being aggressive like this is the best way. Alright. Alright, GG. All I had to do was make him fight me and then there's no way he could uh, he could defend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.